many of you know what you want to be when you grow up? Yeah. Ooh, that's exciting. And how many of you know that in order to do that, you have to graduate from high school? Or college. Or, and go to college, <laughs> right? How many, of you, how many of you are going to go to college? All right. My name is Amy Friedman, and I'm the executive director of Book Trust. Today we're serving 22,000 kids in nine states. 10,000 of those kids are here in Colorado, and about half of them are in the Denver metro area. I have spent the past 13 years of my professional career focused on public education. I worked for Denver Public Schools and was focused on the system change prior to joining Book Trust. And what was so refreshing about Book Trust was this was an opportunity to start at the very beginning without the politics and really feel the impact on an individual child's life. Typically in, um, in low income communities, over 60% of families have no books at all in the home. And in uh, middle income neighborhoods, the ratio of books per child is 13 books for every child, whereas in, in um, low income communities, there's one book for every 300 children. A lot of our kids are in the high poverty area. We have over 90% poverty in our school. Um, our kids can, some of them can barely clothe themselves and it's just, it's such a relief and a change that um, they can read now. I had the same kids last year from first grade into second grade where some of them have grown a year and a half and not just in reading, it's in comprehension and fluency, how much they read. And just seeing that as well as what they can do in their writing, reading their own writing, where before it's, what's this word, what's this word? where now they're able to do a lot of that. And I think a lot of it just reflects how much they're able to see reading in their lives and see how important it is and how much we stress it nowadays. The mere presence of books in the home, whether or not the parents have time to read to the children, whether or not the, um, the, the kids are getting all the services that they need, just by having books in the home can elevate literacy. So for me, it was just very important that, that when I found this organization that I get involved immediately. By reading scholastic books and other books, other books I could pass my reading level in school. I get more, um, like, get more knowledge and get um, some, some more reading level so I could pass them all. We know that without books, kids can't learn to read. And if kids aren't learning to read, then they're not going to be able to be successful in school. And if they're not successful in school, they're never going to break out of the cycles of poverty that many of them have been facing um, for multiple generations. We hear time and time again from students that when they outgrow these books that they bring into their homes, the book cycle lives on. They, they give them to younger siblings. They give them to um, uh, children that they know in their church. They give them to their people that they meet in their after school programs. So the life cycle of the book isn't just finite with this one child. It's such a powerful um, catalyst for loving words and, and loving education and building lifelong learning. Putting books in the hands of kids benefits all of us.